So there's a potential GOP primary challenger for Donald Trump. And, uh, oh, and by the way, the contempt for the American people is behind this possible bid. Okay, so let's look into this. Oh, there's an ad that I didn't want. Go away. The first Republican to announce he is considering a primary challenge to President Trump said he's doing so because Trump has shown contempt for the American people. Let me ask you this. What is more contempt than telling the American people all the things they can't have? Than telling them they can't have health care, they can't have affordable college opportunities, they can't have a living wage because they're not worth it. We can't do anything about infrastructure. You want a job opportunity? Go fight in these wars for rich oil tycoons. And you're telling me Donald Trump's the only one that has contempt for the American people just because he talks a little meaner? Donald Trump is absolutely despicable. That's very true. Nobody disputes that. But he is where he is because our system is equally despicable. All right, let's get back to uh, this contender. So former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld told Monday, uh, told CNN Monday that Trump's 2017 uh, Oval Office meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and then Ambassador Sergei Kislyak struck a bad tone with him, priming him to consider a run against Trump. That showed contempt for the American people, if anything I've ever seen does. Really? That's what it took, Weld? He met with some Russian foreign ministers. That, that's what it takes? That's contempt! Really? really? It, it wasn't, there was no contempt in what he was doing at the border. That wasn't contempt. There was no contempt in his travel ban. That wasn't contempt. There was no contempt in the AH, AHCA, which took health care away from 16 million more people. It's bad enough we have a system that leaves 30 million people out in the cold. We want to take health care away from more people. No contempt there. No contempt in the fact that this president is trying to completely gut the separation of church and state forever. No contempt there. Oh, no contempt in the completely gutting of the EPA, of having a, uh, the lobbyists in charge of the ETA, EPA that are making that institution even more corrupt than it already was. No contempt in all the appointment of war criminals to further war in Venezuela. That could turn into another Afghanistan, by the way. Venezuela could turn into another Afghanistan. No contempt there. He had a meeting, though. This guy sounds like a real winner. Real winner. All the, all the horrible things the Trump administration has done. This is what this guy points to. All right, so... He's launching an exploratory committee for the presidency. Uh, there's a fir very conservative group. That's not my base for sure. Okay, who is your base then? There are 20 primaries. All right. So Weld in 2016 was Libertarian Party nominee Gary Johnson's vice presidential pick. Gary Johnson would have went to his house to ask him directly, but he could not find his way there. He recently changed his party affiliation to Republican in the lead up to the launch of the exploratory committee. Uh, okay, so this guy is basically a libertarian. Now, now this gets into my theory here. So, Donald Trump basically is uh, is the guy in the GOP, and some Republicans are okay with that. Some Republicans are not. But either way, um, he's the guy right now. He trounced everybody in the 2016 primary. He went on to win the election. Um, he's not doing so great popularity wise, but he still has a very excited and angry base, um, that would make any type of primary challenge, um, very, very difficult. So what ha what might happen in the GOP is similar to what happened to the Democrats in 2016. What do I mean by this? So in 2016, everybody was in was in bed for Hillary Clinton. Everybody, all the superdelegates, everybody. It was Hillary Clinton's year. It was her turn. She was entitled to the presidency. You know, because this is a democracy. We, we have people, they're just entitled to the presidency. It's just theirs. You know, she told Joe Biden, don't run, it's me. And he said, okay. You know, that, that's our system. It's, it's, it's very, very respectable. And um, so it was Hillary Clinton's year. So a guy in Vermont named Bernie Sanders said, well, what the hey, there, there's got to be some type of opposition here. I have a platform that has been undermined by the Democratic establishment my entire career. I'm going to join up and I'm going to run because no one else is going to. So I might as well kind of throw these ideas out there. He did. And what happened next? 
a revolution because a lot of lefties in this country a revolution to an extent not a full revolution we're still working on that part but but uh but definitely a paradigm shift definitely a paradigm shift because you know what happened people that think like i do and like a lot of you do that tune into this stream a lot of lefties realize they weren't as alone as they thought they were realize that no a lot of people want single payer health care a lot of people want to end the wars a lot of people want living wages a lot of people think that the corporate control of our politics is bogus that want to get money out of politics a lot of people feel this way it's not just a small movement there's a small movement that is the most vocal but there's there's more of you than you realize and this connects in the heartland this this whole you know, all this whole like, oh, like they'll never go for a populist. The, the heartland will never go for a populist. That's bullshit. That's not true. We were fed that bullshit. We thought for a long time it's probably bullshit. Turns out when you get somebody on the stage, you find out it is bullshit. Because in 08, when Kucinich ran, he wasn't given a chance. Because they usually try to stop progressives as quickly as they can. Well, it didn't work this time because Bernie Sanders knew he had nothing to lose. He just went for it. And look what happened. He almost won. He would have won if he wasn't cheated. And then he would have won the general too. I'm pretty confident Bernie would have beat Trump. Um, and he, he, he likely would have won if he wasn't cheated. And... Uh, So my theory, and I'm going to turn to you guys in a bit, could something like that happen in the GOP this time around where Trump, Trump campaigned to some big outsider. Turns out he wasn't that dude. A lot of us knew he wasn't that dude, but turns out he wasn't that dude. He's just another insider. He's just another insider. His, his cabinet's full of the same plutocrats. Uh, he's got the same warmongers. He's not the inter anti-interventionist he said he was. Now, could this be time for an actual libertarian? Now, libertarians, we don't agree on everything. We do have a couple things in common. We both want to end the wars. We both want to get money out of politics. Although our plans for what should happen next are quite different. But nonetheless, could something happen where the GOP takes... Uh, gets an infiltration of libertarian-minded folks who are disconnected from the actual GOP. Could this be a time for them? And could somebody like this guy maybe make a dent similar to what Bernie Sanders did in 2016? Is that possible? Could this be? Now, based on this article, and this is my first exposure to this guy, but based on this article alone, uh, I don't know if uh, Bill Weld's the guy to do it. I think that you would need somebody who can really connect to uh, unconventional folk, folks that don't vote, basically, like like, like unlikely voters. Uh, you need somebody who connect, can connect with those types of people, who can really excite people at a grassroots level, who can really excite people on different sides of the political aisle because they see them as an outsider. Somebody like a Ron Paul. Like what Ron Paul did in 2008. If Ron Paul, if somebody like a Ron Paul, and I don't think Rand's the guy, but if somebody like a Ron Paul were to infiltrate in 2020 and run in the primary, I think they might be able to do what Bernie Sanders did in 2016. And then we'd be having a much different discussion in our political sphere as a whole. Because the right would look a lot different than it does now. So... I guess my question is, do you guys think there's anything to that, or am I just, like, talking bullshit? <laughs> what do you guys think? Does that does that hold any water? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It's just something that, uh, that I'm thinking about. Um, no, corporate buyers won't allow a libertarian to succeed. That's what Dark Rose Lefty said. Uh, there are divisions on the right, says Garden Gnome. I don't know if they go that deep. I, don't, I mean, we could respond. I mean, we, we could find out. In, the, in such a situation. George says, progressives can work with libertarians on corruption and constitutional issues. I, I certainly think so, yeah. Uh, you got to go pro-small business, but against big corporations and monopolies. I agree with that. Ron Paul makes sense responding to Trump, J.G. Howard says. Some of you guys are saying for Jesse Ventura. I don't know if Jesse Ventura has interest in running. 
uh, who in the Republican Party these days is like Ron Paul? That's a good question. I, off the top of my head, I can't really, you know, I, I can't really think of anybody. I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about this, this well guy to say whether he is or isn't. I, I don't know enough about him. Uh, I, I don't really think Gary Johnson is like a Ron Paul as far as the way he can motivate people. Um, so I, so I don't know. I, I don't have an answer to that. I think that's a valid question. Joseph says, no anti-war candidate will ever be given such an opportunity. Plus, Weld is toxic to GOP base and libertarians. He endorsed Obama in 2008 and supports gun control. So they might, they might, uh, they might write him out. Uh. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know? Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 